Thank you. Thank you for your introduction. Uh, and it's my honor to uh, stand here and to enjoy the Kibigo Sunday. And I uh, thank you for Professor Lin to invite me to uh, show some uh, our experience or clinical practice uh, in, in our uh, lower income uh, region in China. Um, first, I want to introduce uh, the situation of diabetes in, uh, with CKD in China. Now, uh, as we all know that uh, China has the largest population in the world, uh, and there are most, there are, uh, in, in general, the prevalence of diabetes in China uh, was uh, uh, about 12%, um, uh, uh, a, a little bit higher than CKD prevalence in China. Uh, according to the uh, 2022 uh, survey, uh, across our country. Uh, and the general prevalence of diabetes nephropathy in patients with diabetes in China is uh, as high as 21%. Um, however, the, the prevalence of the, uh, in different regions or different provinces um, varies very greatly from uh, 9% to 43%. Um, in, some, uh, in some province, uh, the diabetes uh, with CKD uh, is very high, uh, like Sichuan here. Right? Yes, Su Sichuan province. Um, however, in some region, uh, especially the lower income region, like uh, northwest of China and the southwest of China, uh, the lack of uh, authoritative uh, epidemical survey data. Um, in 2000, uh, in two, 2000 year, uh, the ESRD, uh, the new uh, ep episode of ESRD was only uh, 9%. Um, in 2015, uh, it in increased dramatically into uh, 29%, and compared to other uh, countries uh, presented as uh, the blue bar uh, is China, uh, that compared to other uh, country, China, uh, the increasing trend of China was sixfold in recent 15 years. Um, in 2000, um, the proportion of diabetes as the etiology in the new ESRD uh, in China was only 9.9%, uh, and in 2015, it increases uh, very high to 53%, um, higher than United States, Japan, and England. And from this figure, we can see that uh, the increasing trend is very uh, very fast in recent 15 years. Um, so from uh, the previous slide, we can see that the CKD, uh, the diabetes with CKD patients, the, the burden of China is very heavy. Uh, so next, so I, I want to talk about our, uh, my home, hometown, uh, because I think most of you never heard about or even uh, know little about Ningxia province. Uh, so I want to introduce my province. Um, it is located in the northwest of China, uh, and uh, it is the small, smallest province in the mainland. Um, the total area was only uh, 16,000 ki uh, square kilometer, and the resident population was only uh, 9.2 million. Um, but in uh, our hometown is a, um, uh, is an area that um, many Muslim uh, gathered. Uh, are uh, about one third of the population are Muslim people. Uh, our province are surrounded by Inner Mongolia, Gansu, Shanxi, 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 uh, and in ancient time, 
It located in the Silk Road, which was once an important channel uh, or for transportation and trade between the East and the West. Uh, here I show some pictures um, of my hometown. That uh, This is a, a very beautiful mountain called Liu Pan, Liu Pan Mountain in the south of China. This is in the, a picture of summer. Uh, this is autumn. Here is a handwriting from Chairman Mao. Uh, this is the picture of imperial tomb of dynasty Western Xia. Uh, it is the um, most famous historical site in Ningxia. Uh, and the, uh, as early as 1038 uh, BC. Uh, and um, part of Ningxia is located in the Tenggu uh, Desert and uh, Yellow River come across uh, to Ningxia. So uh, the, it uh, shaped a um, very uh, different and unique uh, landscape. Uh, we call it this site uh, Sha Po Tou, and here Sha Hu, that is a very large lake located in the desert. Um, there are thousands of birds and fish live here. So very beautiful uh, scene in our hometown. Uh, and we have five uh, famous local products. Uh, the red is the Chinese wolfberry. It is very common used in soup making. Uh, and the blue is the Hulan stone. It is a very precious carving stone. And the black is the uh, hillweed. It's a rare, uh, rare terrestrial edible uh, algae. And uh, the yellow is the um, alcohol rye. Uh, it is used for um, medication to relieve the cough. Uh, and the white is the wool. Uh, we have a very high quality of wool. Um, so although we have a beautiful thing and uh, uh, very uh, good product, but uh, our <laughs> economical uh, status is not, is very, uh, we are still in uh, a lower income. Uh, in the last year, here I show the picture is the uh, per capita GDP level of, of all, all uh, 31 provinces in China. We are ranked in 30, uh, uh, 20, 29th. Uh, so we are uh, the lower income region. Uh, and also the medical care coverage is uh, lower than other provinces, especially in rural area. Uh, the medical staff, uh, special on uh, kidney disease, is in a serious uh, shortage situation in uh, our province. Um, now this picture is, uh, here is our hospital. Uh, this area is all, is all our hospital. Uh, the General Hospital of Ningxia Medical University. Uh, and uh, our hospital is the medical center of our province and uh, our, the, uh, the, the uh, related uh, problem, uh, area uh, around Ningxia. And uh, this is our department, uh, the nephrology department. Um, Yes, we have uh, founded in uh, 1988. Um, now we have a total of 104 staffs uh, with uh, 26 doctors and uh, 75 nurses. Uh, and we have one full-time nephrologist and one full-time engineering and, and te uh, technician. Yes, we, ha we are a big family. Uh, so welcome to our homeland and our hospital in the future. Um, next, um, uh, we, I want to see some uh, clinical practice on our uh, management on the diabetes and the CKD, but we have uh, the uh, 
data is not so uh, uh, is sparse. So <coughs> we do some uh, survey on the um, diabetes patient from both inpatient department and outpatient department recently. Um, we enrolled about 1,521 uh, patients uh, with uh, diagnosed as diabetic kidney disease uh, from four hospitals from uh, May 2020 to May 2023 uh, from uh, Ningxia province. All these patients' average age was uh, 60, uh, 56, uh, and the average length of a stay in hospital uh, is uh, 8.4 days. Uh, and this patient, uh, they are from 90, 90, about 90 patient, patient from the urban and 10% uh, from uh, rural. And the male to female ratio was uh, 2.13 to, to 1. Um, in general, the reimbursement of uh, Ningxia uh, was um, uh, set as um, three types, including uh, urban workers, urban resident, and uh, rural resident. Um, about 71% of the patient are urban worker, and um, about uh, three, uh, 13 percent are uh, rural resident and uh, urban resident, and the rest, um, about 15, are self, uh, fully, full self, uh, full self pay payment because they are not uh, the resident of Ningxia. They come from other provinces, so they have to pay uh, fully by themselves. And all this patient, the payment for this patient is different in a uh, hospital of different level. In the teaching hospital, 70% um, of the urban workers was uh, covered by government, and 55% uh, of uh, urban resident and the rural re resident covered by government. Uh, and in the county hospital, uh, the proportion was 90% uh, and 85% uh, and 75% uh, respectively. And in the community hospital, uh, about 90 to 95% of the patient uh, pay payment can be covered by uh, government. So um, the policy, policy um, allocate all the patient to go to the uh, community hospital to, to treat. Um, then all uh, our enrolled enrolled uh, cases uh, at, at discharge, um, five uh, one hundred one thousand and five hundred patients were recovered, and seven gave up the treatment due to the economic reason, and seven cases died, including two acute um, myocardial infection two sepsis and uh, one gastrointestinal bleeding and one COVID-19 pneumonia and one uh, uh, uremic uh, encephalopathy. And uh, all these, not all these uh, seven patients died. Um, they are all the diabetes kidney disease stage five. Um, so the, the, the average cost of all these patients was uh, 1,000 to uh, 150, uh, uh, 84 US dollar. After reimbursement, about 70% uh, of the payment was covered by uh, government. They, they only pay 30%. Uh, uh, in addition, we uh, do a questionnaire survey uh, in our outpatient department uh, from uh, five community hospitals in China. Uh, the sample size is not so big, uh, only 194 patients, uh, because time is limitation to prepare this data. Um, about 64% uh, percent, uh, patient from urban and uh, 35 from rural, 
and the gender ratio is uh, similar in uh, male and female. Um, the age dis distribution, we can see that over 600 uh, patient, uh, over 60 uh, years old patient was only 90, um, 19%, uh, and most of the patient is, um, the age is from uh, 45 to 25 percent, uh, from uh, 30 to 59 uh, years old. Uh, and in all these diabetes patients, um, there are about 43 percent of the patient was diagnosed as the um, complicated with kidney disease. Uh, then we do a comparison uh, between patient uh, with DKD or non-DKD. Uh, in general, the gender, age, education, and occupation are showed no differences between two groups. Uh, and the ethnic group, we can see that many Muslim proportion in all these two groups, uh, about 60%, 60 uh, but there's no difference between these two groups. And the marital status and the permanent residence drinking, smoking, daily meat taking, uh, physical activity, and the body mass index um, are all no differences. And uh, we ask the patient uh, how they diagnose as diabetes. Uh, we can see that uh, about only uh, about 6% uh, to 30% of the patient um, uh, answered, they are recommended by physicians. Um, the rest of the patient, most of the patient, they, um, they were diagnosed as uh, diabetes because they have symptoms or accident finding or uh, taking a physical examin examination. And the duration of uh, the diabetes, most of the patients, we can see that more than half of the patient they have only one to five years or uh, five year duration of diabetes. Especially uh, patient with DKD, um, they only have one to five year uh, duration of diabetes. Uh, and the hypoglycemia regimen was on oral and uh, two combines. Only uh, about 10% uh, of the patient, uh, patient use insulin. Uh, separately. Uh, and the glucose monitoring, uh, it is good to know that most patients, uh, more than 60%, they can monitor their uh, serum glucose uh, one time per month. Uh, and it is, um, it is not, uh, not so good that uh, patient, most patient was, rec mm, most of the patient more than uh, 80% of the patient was not never recommended by a doctor to do a kidney test, and uh, more than 90% um, of the patient, they never do the urine analysis. And um, the current source cause of the treatment, um, the uh, most come from the basic medical insurance and the basic medical for urban uh, urban workers, urban residents, and rural medical care. Uh, and the monthly uh, uh, payment for the uh, hypoglycemia drugs and uh, kidney treatment uh, was higher in the DKD group. Uh, and um, most patients, they feel that they can afford uh, the treatment, they can, uh, can be affordable. Uh, and these questions are the st stress of the patient. Uh, most patients, they think they are stressed about their illness because uh, long-term long -term medication and the economic pressure and uh, the physical discomfort. Uh, and the hypertension is uh, complicated with a DKD, the patient more complicated with DKD and uh, um, more patient uh, in DKD group, they take Chinese medicine to, um, to protect the kidney. Uh, and, sorry, time is, uh, is up.
Can I go on? Sorry. <laughs> we can shorten the lunch hour. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> uh, then the attitude of the family member to treat is fully uh, supported or basically fully. Um, so the problem, uh, based on our survey, the problem of an impossible solution uh, in lower income region um, was the challenge, challenge for before the treatment of a kidney disease, we need a diagnosis. Um, this figure, uh, we, we know, uh, we well know about this, uh, two um, main factors about albuminuria and, and GFR. Uh, and on the way of the CKD developing, proteinuria is an accelerator, making the speed faster and faster. So we have to um, step on the brake as early as possible. Um, especially patient, just patient present uh, micro albuminuria. Um, uh, we have done a lot, but uh, it's not enough. Uh, we uh, put the uh, publish aware not only on the world Kennedy and also on the routine work. Uh, these pictures are what we do in uh, in the, uh, the 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 clinic, a free clinic. Uh, and education in primary institution. And this is work, uh, work in a day from a recent, uh, in, in recent three years. Um, but there's a long way to go on the uh, putting uh, a, uh, UACR and uh, microalbuminuria in the routine health uh, examination list and should improve in understanding of a CKD early diagnosis of patient in primary health care institution. Uh, the second challenge, I think, is uh, we need a general perception on the treatment in each patient. Um, here is the KDGO guideline, and many uh, multifactorial approaches uh, should be taken to uh, reduce the cardiorenal risk, but, um, and also we have Recently, we have many medications used for um, and um, basic and clinical evidence uh, uh, of the uh, RAS inhibitor and uh, GS, G, uh, SGLT2 and M MRA to uh, slow down the, the developing of the CKD, um, but it is not enough and the multi Multiple targets should be achieved at the same time, including the lifetime intervention, serum uh, glucose monitoring, and control to the target, and comprehensive management of a patient with diabetes and kidney, and so on. Um, I think no matter the patient um, come to uh, endocrinologist, cardiologist, or the uh, nephrologist, we should have a holistic approach. Um, we, uh, we should suggest it for each patient for the, uh, uh, with diabetes and, uh, and CKD. Uh, and uh, when the patient condition uh, on certain aspect become more prominent or difficult to deal with, uh, we should refer the patient to the specialist in time. But uh, I think it's not difficult, but it, it's not easy. <laughs> Challenge three is economic burden of diabetes and CKD complications much heavier in uh, lower income uh, area. Um, this is not necessary to see about this slide. Uh, I want to say that in, in recent years in China, the medical insurance is greatly improved. Um, almost 95% of the patient, patient, even in our uh, lower income uh, region, uh, their reimbursement is very good. Um, in 2018, the policy of uh, centralized drug uh, prose uh, procurement with quality uh, began to implement it. Um, I give uh, two cases, uh, example. Uh, this, this drug, uh, we all know that is an um, um, uh, bestalate. Uh, the previous 
pri price is 36 per box, uh, and now is and now is only 0 0.85. <laughs> uh, <laughs> <laughs> and this is a uh, Archibald's, Archibald's tablet. Previous is nine, uh, 50, 50 yuan uh, renminbi, and now it's 9 yuan. Um, so I think uh, even in our low uh, income region, this uh, basic, basic drug is not, uh, uh, not uh, have a medical uh, burden for all the patients. Uh, but once the patient complicated with uh, CKD or CED, the, the economic uh, burden is very uh, still very heavy. Um, so in the last, I um, just a few suggestions to um, taking uh, uh, to prevent CKD or CVD in uh, diabetes uh, patients, uh, and also. Uh, we should do something to uh, delay the progression to ESRD. Um, uh, I think we, uh, in, in our rural work, we are establishing a kidney disease uh, specialist airline in our Ningxia province. Uh, and also we do a regular CME course and training uh, based on the requirement of primary uh, healthcare situation and the dual uh, referral between the teaching hospital and the primary hospital are um, are in um, uh, we are doing this uh, as a routine work uh, and um, big data should be collection and analyzed to provide to the government uh, to improve the um, present policy especially on the CKD patient we are um, uh, com communicate with uh, uh, government uh, especially on the dialysis patient policy. Um, that is what I want to see. Thank you.